every year our AAF Coastal Carolinas Club accepts applications for a public service campaign. We review them, our board of directors chooses one, and that organization receives a year-long promotion. Our members mastermind the creative and donate the media. <coughs> First up, we're going to take a look at our current campaign. A hot upcoming agency known as T2H Advertising is responsible for this award-winning work. We're really lucky because we have both principals of T2H on hand today to talk to you about it. Uh, Jeff Thompson and Kristen Hardy founded T2H in 2004. Their agency provides a broad scope of services including brand development, print and broadcast creative, website design and programming, internet, internet presentations and online promotions, marketing strategy and media planning. They do it all. Their clients include Grand Strand Water and Sewer Authority, Grand Strand Miracle League, and that is one of the nonprofits that I think is here today. Any, anyone here from the Miracle League? Not. Okay, they haven't made it yet. The Watson Group, Carolina Radiology, and Stanley Law Firm. T2H earned two silver Addies and a gold Addy for the 2008 Street Reach campaign sponsored by AAF Coastal Carolinas. And here to tell you a little bit about it are Jeff and Kristen. Please welcome them. Hi. I'm Jeff and this is Kristen. Um, I apologize in advance if I always start hacking uncontrollably. We're both getting over the flu. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, and thanks for having us here to do a quick little show and tell of last year's campaign. Um, like most of these campaigns, a lot of people were involved in it. We, we just kind of assembled it. Um, so uh, Matt Silk uh, donated his time, a photog great photographer, local photographer. Um, and a lot of friend, uh, family and friends were our models for this whole thing. So uh, everything was done on the cheap and also all the media that donated uh, Space Force to do these, this campaign. Thanks to all you guys. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Um, you know, there's, as Jeff had mentioned, there are so many people that are involved when you put together a campaign, as you well know. And, um, and so in addition to all of the talent that we assemble, it's the stakeholders in the, in the nonprofit, in this case Street Beach, that, um, that really helped us to, to understand what the nugget of truth we needed to exploit for this particular campaign should be. And so um, what we did was just sit down and try to figure out in today's world what is it that we wanted to accomplish with this campaign. We knew that we wanted to raise awareness of street reach and with the economy like it is, we really wanted people to understand that we are all just a few steps away from homelessness, at least at some point in our lives. And, um, and we didn't want people to just look at, at homelessness and, and kind of turn away and say, oh, that could never be me or that could never be one of my family members, because certainly it could if we didn't have um, the help of family and friends around us. So we want to just run through for you um, the campaign and what it looked like. And then we want to give you a few tips so that if you would like to embark on an awareness campaign, what kinds of things you might want to consider as you get started on that. Mm -hmm. We started with um, ad development. And there are four ads in this campaign. Um, if it were you, would you help? And then the copy just simply says, you know, it's really scary, isn't it? If you, if you truly stop and think about it, how close to homelessness we would be without those family and friends. So, uh, with again, the help of Matt Silk, who is an amazingly talented photographer, we put these ads together. And you can see that we've got the successful version of, of the human being and the, the down and out version. That's our friend that works in the office sometimes. <laughs> Mr. Brian Slattery. And here we have a, a young lady in the um, sitting in a cafe having her coffee while her her um, homeless self happens to be looking in, wishing that it would her, were her, and, and actually it is her. Um, this was Brittany Kelly who donated her time and services for this particular shoot, and also Cafe M. Um, all of these ads were done in various formats. They were done in black and white, as you see here, for color, 
and in many different sizes for each of the different publications that agreed to, to place the ads for free. Um, also, in consideration of our target audience, we, um, we narrowed our audience down from ages 18 to 45, roughly. Um, so we selected models that would speak to those different age groups and made sure that we had both men and women featured. And as a, a creative, we jump at the chance to, to do these sorts of things because it's usually content or, uh, or stuff that's completely different from our day-to-day our -day work life. So we get to do something completely different, new content manner or subject matter. matter. Um, and these were a lot of fun because we ran around downtown where we'll be shooting this stuff. We also did billboard ex executions. There were five executions in total, showing you two here. <coughs> this is Colin Rogers, by the way, which is Bonnie's son, Bonnie and David. Again, Britain, um, important on your billboard executions not to put too much on there. They only have a few seconds to read them, so it's very important that you use as few words as possible to communicate your message. And what we did here is we actually reserved the, the URL helpstreetreach.com. It, it aided us in, in presenting our message without taking up additional space. We did do the identity also. It was a, a revamp. And then this is the website for Street Reach. Um, I wish we could get online and give you the full impact of it um, with the, the sound and the <coughs> movement. It really is quite a compelling site. And one thing I want to mention here um, is that often we stop short of giving people the ability to transact business online. In other words, we kind of bring them there, we've got their interest, they've come to our website, but we don't allow them to actually donate or register or sign up. And, and so I would just um, implore you to, to do that, to make sure that you take those extra steps, that you sign up for a merchant account. It, it is expensive in some ways and that you have fees that you have to pay for each transaction. But you can do that through PayPal, you can do it through your bank, you have your account. But I would just encourage you, I really believe wholeheartedly that if you allow people to donate online once you get them to the website, that it will increase your donations over time pretty significantly. <coughs>